Um, it's been a long time since I've done the campaign mode in this game. <laughs> On the last, um, actually, uh, three videos ago, we uh, completed Stained Mountains. And since then, I got distracted by the sandbox mode. <laughs> um, yeah, you know how it went. Then uh, for this one, I actually want to um, use different turrets. I think it's, you know, time to upgrade. Oh, okay, it's sufficient core resources. Wait, is it? Oh, okay, I don't know why everything is maxed out. I mean, I would just get copper because I think that's the most important item. Do we need anything else? Oh yeah, wait, the titanium for the titanium conveyors. I think 1,000 is enough, right? I don't know, let's go 2,000. Okay, we can go 2,000. How about 4,000? Oh, okay. Uh, um, I don't know, I haven't played this game in a while. Oh, we only have like five turrets. I didn't know that. I only played sandbox mode than two videos that probably made me think that having 10 turrets in here or something is the you know the normal <laughs> um what a scorch burns any ground enemies close to it highly effective at close range the ammo is coal um i mean both of these materials are flammable parawite might do more damage yeah right here 25 damage i'm so dumb <laughs> okay how about hail fire small shells at ground enemies over long distances 30 oh area damage okay what does that mean i i don't know does it like make a crater whenever it strikes an enemy or something i don't know you know what let's hop on sandbox mode real quick to properly use these things without using any resources because i don't have any oh well, there's a lot actually let's unlock some turrets first in the tech tree if we can or if there's any um, okay, we got salvo. Fire squeak salvos of bullets at enemies. What is a salvo? I have no idea what salvo is. It sounds like a very slimy food. We got wave. Fire steams of liquid at enemies. So basically a pressure washer, but like 10 times stronger. To a point where it disintegrates like solid objects. Automatically extinguishes fires when supplied with water. We got lancer. Charges and fires powerful beams of energy at ground targets. Hmm, which one of these is the best pick? I have no idea what salvo means. That this one is called the wave. Fires steams of liquid at enemies. Fires quick salvos. Like what? What is a salvo? Um, I don't know. Salvo could probably mean a uh, giant meteor in Russian. You know what? Let's just pick all of these. Oh, but there's more. Okay, we got a shock mine. Releases electric arts upon enemy unit contact. Also, basically like a landmine, but with shock instead of explosion. Okay. Parallax. Fires a tractor beam that pulls air targets, damaging them in the process. And we got ripple. Shoots clusters of shells at ground enemies over long distances. Clusters of shells. Okay. Again, I don't know which one of these does the most damage. So. Oh, nope, not you. This and this. Perfect. Alright, it's now... Uh, what did we enable again? We tried scatter once, which is... Uh, um, I don't know why I haven't placed a lot of them on that moment. Like my second ministry video. Like I put so few for some reason. Um, I think it's because it only attacks flying enemies. Um, it doesn't attack the walking ones. Um, yeah. So how about a Scorch? Um, where's the enemy spawn? I think it's right here. Yep, there's two of them. Great. Is this coal? Do we need power? We got boosters. There's also lots of water around. Um, how does water make a turret that shoots fireballs more efficient? Um, I don't know. There's probably like technical logic throughout this whole thing but they you know let's try there's uh two paths that the enemies can go which is down here and then to the right let's use this drill i'm not a pro in this game but i want to try to be actually let's make this a little bit lower how are we gonna do this i'm um, okay this one needs power definitely not doing that not for now at least okay that should cover all of them um can you overlap item conveyors and the conduit um, i don't know we probably need to you know do some big brain stuff in order to pull this off this one has liquid but no ammo should we just router chain this entire thing um no that's old school i think this would work all right router there there and then i right, just like that and then routers okay okay now for the liquids there's a liquid router um which is probably the one that's most realistic it can be applied to real life because it's liquid it spreads right is there a water bridge or something bridge conduit i think i think it's the play all right we've got a liquid router right here i don't want this video to be too long but i've been here for like uh half an hour now i also discovered this new software i've been using the windows uh microphone recording thing for like my entire youtube so that's probably why the quality of my audio is, uh, you know, a bit crap. And what I basically do is I'm basically edit the equalizer so that it sounds natural to what it should sound like. Bridge conduit. How uh, does the bridge go? Wait, no. Go go there. I'm um, okay. It looks like uh, the bridge conduit and the bridge conveyor act as routers. Okay, interesting. 
All right, now for this one. Oh, my stat red. All right, now for this one. And this needs to go over here. This looks complicated, but it's actually very simple. Um, all right, time for this one. I mean, let's just have like two versions where the other version has liquid, the other does not. You know, let's place our search wall right here. Um, I've learned in the previous two videos that the search wall is actually quite OP. All right, okay, they're running. They're excited to be dead. Oh, okay. Um, insta death. <laughs> okay, now we know how to choose that one. Let's now try this one. Okay, for this one, you need graphite. The booster is also water. I have no idea how to create whatever that is. The range is 28 blocks. Holy shit, that's a very large radius. I um, mean, yeah, we can put this over here and still be in the range of the enemies over here. <laughs> that's crazy. That's probably the first time I've seen that kind of radius for a turret. Okay, we can use graphite, silicon, and pyrite. The difference is quite insignificant, I'd say. Um, let's use graphite because I feel like that's the the cheapest one because it's on the top. Oh, we also have homing and burning. Um, why does this game have big words? I have no idea what that means. I know burning though. That's the you know most simplest one. And the material that has a word that I actually know has the symbol of uh you know what it describes to be. That this one doesn't, and it happens to be the word that I don't know. Um, how do you make graphite again? Oh, the input is only two coal. Okay, that that was much easier than I thought. Okay, let's now find coal. Okay, okay, this one is overflowing with coal. So uh, I think we can just do this. Yeah. Oh, let's also pay attention to the the build cost because that's pretty important. Okay, this quartz is twenty five copper and twenty two graphite. That's less copper than the duo, but there's also graphite, so technically it's more expensive. The hail one requires forty copper and seventeen. Graphite. Should we router chain this? Oh yeah, but when we do this, it outputs the item in the routers. Let's do it the proper way, I guess. Okay, routers and conveyors. There we go. Can we use liquid? We can use liquid. Um, let's not use liquid for now. Let's uh, let's see how this operates without a liquid. Okay, they're already almost full. That is an incredible reach. If it's even going to shoot all the way over here, let's see. Okay, they're quite powerful. <laughs> Their fire sound sounds like enemies dying for some reason. What if it's Solori now? Um, what if the coal is actually like a corpse of a like a watered enemy or something? And when we use them and we turn it into graphite and then we fire them, just like putting fertilizers on plants, it's like grabbing its um, dead relatives and spreading it around them, you know, to consume. That's actually quite good. You know, Matt Patch should hire me next time. Um, okay, looks like their fire rate is quite slow, but it's fine as long as we have like a ton of them. Alright, let's not try wave. Fire teams of liquid that enemies yeah, blah blah blah. The health is 1000, the cost is 75 lead and 45 meta glass. We got ammo, it's labeled as wet. Thanks for letting me know that water is wet, I didn't know that. We got slag, cyber fluid and oil. How do you make cyber fluid? <laughs> I keep seeing it everywhere, probably because I'm looking at them. Um, okay, I think that's enough messing around for now. It's not like we're going to use all of them. Alright, let's start now. I've been here for like, I don't know, 40 minutes messing around. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna see this. What are those red things? Wait, are we going to fight enemies that can build? Everything here is highlighted in red. There's scatter turrets right here. And I'm also a flying robot. So, uh, I think I might... Yep, definitely. It would kill me, I don't care. Um, it looks like the game already built stuff for us, which is very nice. I don't know what all of these are for. I'm gonna see this. Ground factory. What the hell is ground factory? Produces ground units. Output units can be used directly. I moved into reconstructions for upgrading. Um, it spawns minions? Okay. What do I need though? I clicked on it now, it starts to build the minions. I guess it wasn't activated before. I need 10 silicon and 10... Oh, I created one. Okay, looks like this thing is uh, the most important thing in this level in the campaign mode. This is new. Um, how is this sand here? Um, is this sand? I uh, no, it's not even ore. Is there any sand in my There's already turrets here, which is nice. And what kind of defense is this? Like, only one side is covered. What, what the hell? What do I need for this one? Okay, 10 silicon and 20 coal. Okay, looks like this... All the thing is a better option. Sand, sand, sand. It's not sand anywhere. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we need a game plan right now. I haven't imported graphite. Okay, well, this sucks. Should we make graphite or... You know, let's do both. Let's do graphite and we'll basically like add a bunch of duos right here. Um, I want to use the other turrets, but but for both of these, we need graphite. So, uh, yeah, graphite it is, I guess. Can we even make graphite press? Oh, we need lead. <laughs> 
I'm also trying to like pronounce things better, like saying okay instead of okay, you know. I, mean, I didn't even realize I was doing it. I just realized that when uh, I did my last video, I keep saying like okay, okay. So uh, I just did it again. <laughs> okay, okay, not okay. Okay. Can you build stuff on him? Oh, I can't. It would be really funny if we killed our own minion by suffocation. <laughs> so we don't have any weapons yet. We only have these three. I right, can grab it. Press over here. We don't have any lead. So this might take a while. Hold left control and click to control friendly units or turrets. Control click. Oh, wow, it's very slow. Okay, my fingers hurt already. You can get me. You know, give up. That's cool though. Um, we need more silicon, but the thing is, there's no sand anywhere. If I delete this, if there's two sand, I'm gonna lose it. Huh? That's sand? This was sand all along, are you kidding me? Click there. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing that now. Oh yeah, wait, we need to convert the sand into silicon, I forgot. Why am I so dumb today? Dun 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 when we connecting to summer, I forgot that this is not an item dispenser. I got so used to like connecting something to the core. I think we need two silicon smelters to speed us up. Wave turrets with water as ammunition will automatically put out nearby fires. Wait, that's what it was? Okay, we're getting there. We destroyed this turret over here. We just need four more. Oh yeah, wait, the scatter doesn't attack walking enemies. It only attacks uh, these ones. So I think we should use this later. Um, because flying enemies is not going to survive all of these. So uh, so once all of these are destroyed, we can now, now use this. For now, I think we should just like extract all of the silicon. So I think for now, let's uh, try and get all of the silicon it produces to the core. So that we can build more of these. I just realized we only have like... 2,000 copper left. Oh yeah, we should definitely like get more copper to go into the core. There's new silicon supply. Let's also get copper. Okay, we got a lag spike. Is it doing fine? A GPU is pegged for some reason. <laughs> My usage isn't like this before. I don't know why. Um, is it this program that I'm using? I might be doing something wrong. Either that or this uh level is just uh, more graphics demanding than usual. Um, wait, I thought this part was open. I thought there were two ways that the enemies can go, just here and then here. My eyes are, I think, in the bad shape right now. I mean, I was do six. Now we need lead. There's lead av available over here. The lead over here is getting clogged. And the silicon over here is not, bring it's not being produced fast enough. Oh, wait. Shut up, okay, shut up. There's no more coal nearby. Oh yeah, wait, the dross over here is not the good one. So, uh, um, I think it's probably why it's, you know, so slow. Oh yeah, wait, we don't have graphite. Come on. Come on. Just... There we go. I've been doing this for, like, 40 minutes, and we're only at wave 5. And it also looks like it's unlimited rounds, because it doesn't say wave 5 out of 30, like usual. So basically, I think the goal here is not to survive 30 waves, but to destroy the enemy core over here. This is actually a very cool concept, and will also take a very, very long time. <laughs> I've been here for an hour, and we're only at wave 5. I mean, it says 1 hour and 34 minutes, because I also, like, spend half an hour uh, testing out turrets, like you saw earlier. Oh, 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 we destroyed the first core. Okay, nice. I mean, I think this is going to be a multiple part series. Maybe you should do multiple part series more instead of including everything in the video because because when I include everything in the video, the video will be like very long. Um, not only the video will be very long, but, but my upload gaps are like, I don't know, two months. <laughs> There's also stuff like school that I need to like prioritize more. So yeah, I think doing a multiple part series is uh is better for me I guess. If the video is interesting and long enough. Um, I don't even think I recorded my audio properly. I haven't used the software before. This is actually like my very first audio recording that I did in the software. So uh, uh you know hopefully it sounds good. Just tolerate the quality I guess if you know uh if, if it sounds terrible. <laughs> I'm okay I need to end the video here. This is Fungal Pass part one and see you all in part two.
Wow, that is a very big file. And what is the bitrate? I mean, it's not that high, but what? 